Welcome to the IVM Podcast Network. TFG Fantasy Cricket is an IVM production and you can also check out their other awesome shows like Simplified, a show that explains intense topic from around the world and simplifies it for you so that you can up your cooler in front of your friends. You're listening to TFG Fantasy Cricket. Hello and good morning. Welcome to the brand new episode of TFG Fantasy Cricket Podcast. My name is Nikhil. I have Vivek Krishnan with me in the studio and it's Super Sunday. Two matches, back-to-back starts from... Four. I mean, this is what IPL fan, you know, looks out for. Back-to-back matches. IPL fan, cricket fan, fantasy cricket fan, everybody uh, looks forward to this uh, double dose. Uh, Saturday and Sunday and we had a fabulous uh, Saturday great start we spoke about how tricky and challenging it can get for fantasy cricket addicts if you start uh, Saturday on a rough note fortunately for us everything clicked captains vice captains both games people made money we also made some money yeah. people wrote to us so thank you everybody uh, we we didn't start the tournament on a high note but again thank you for your faith all your trust all your lovely messages you know we need this impetus from time to time to keep delivering our best here we are again hopefully we can have a repeat of saturday on a sunday yes yes before going into sunday what an innings from rishab pant yesterday brilliant man never easy uh, uh, after the mental trauma he suffered after the loss of his father but the desperation to compete and in a demanding environment like the ipl Uh, just fabulous man you have to love this guy akash chopra rightly said he's not only the uh, future but he's also the present and it remains to be seen uh, just a matter of time before he makes it to the indian team and starts playing uh, uh, a lot of matches mm. but we couldn't pick him and we explained why there was always a question mark mm. we went ahead with kedar jadhav yeah who delivered uh, well man he was also just but, but talking about rishabh pant you know two examples that comes comes into my mind one is virat kohli and sachin tendulkar who also you know in yes. their career lost their fathers but came back into the cricketing field and yes that was again just terrific from sachin i remember in uh, england against kenya and then virat obviously uh, when when his father passed away came back to playing for delhi so this this talks about your mental fortitude which is more important like i said mm. physical like i said uh, skills can be acquired over a period of time but this fortitude if you are if you can have nerves of steel if you can be really mentally strong that helps you in a lot of ways mm. and mm. in sport surely yes. pawan negi you know he was he was given the last over he did very well i think it was a no brainer you could have gone to anybody mm. uh, chris gale you mm. could have gone to tikbal uh, abdullah you could have even asked kedar jadhav to come and bowl mm. it was so simple 19 required i don't care who is batting last over when was the last time you saw 19 runs scored in a last over that was carlos brathwaite mm. after that he has not hit even four sixes in his life <laughs> so you have to go back uh, it doesn't happen often in cricket mm. 19 20 of the last over but the way rishabh pant was going 99 out of 100 times mm. you are not going to get it yes you make a point when the way he was swinging freely yeah. and the ball coming into him he was going in that direction he missed and bullseye mm. that's how the game is uh, i had a feeling they could go to chris gale mm. but uh, watson said i just went with my gut feeling yeah yeah uh, and it worked i'm very disappointed not because rcb won i'm disappointed because delhi lost Hmm. I expected more from Delhi. I know they have been hampered, hmm. uh, but the way they capitulated, the way the meek surrender, nobody was ready to spend time with uh, hmm. uh, Rishabh, Rishabh Pant. And if you're going to start your campaign on such a bad note, hmm. loss is okay, not a problem. But in the manner, in this fashion, hmm. I really, really don't see them making uh, to the top four. Forget making it to the top four, even challenging. This hmm. was atrocious from Delhi. Yeah. So yeah. Delhi fans, we are also very sad. We are not Delhi supporters, but if you are going to play to this level, don't expect anything. Okay, okay. Let's move on to today's game. And uh, Sunrisers, Hyderabad plays Gujarat. Hmm. You know, Hyderabad they have already won one game, and they are like they are on a high. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a commendable side. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They are the champions. Everything but, but is going one, right for them. But two questions. Yeah. Two players. Hmm. Mustafa is a Rahman and Faulkner. Rahman is not playing. Tom Moody confirmed he will only be available for selection uh, for the Mumbai game at the Vankade in the mm. next two days. Mm. He's not going to be playing this match. And after their successful run in the first game, they are not going to tinker with this side. Mm. So 
it's very simple unchanged 11 unless of course injury forces them okay yeah uh, fokner should play he mm-hmm. should have played in the first game also we saw mm-hmm. how dwayne smith's uh, presence was it didn't count for anything mm-hmm. what was he doing without dwayne smith they could get 185 it talks about the kind of powerful batting lineup they have yeah. idiotic in my opinion to play four batsmen mm-hmm. because they are not going to bat you play roy you play smith you sorry you play roy mckillum and iron fitch mm. i think the, they will go with these three with suresh raina and dinesh karthik mm. and then you have a james faulkner coming in with james faulkner he gives you so much balance he gives you uh, hope of picking wickets he's got this variations i'm mm. not saying he's a class act uh, by any stretch of imagination when it comes to bowling but he has done it in the t20s he knows where to bowl he knows how to bowl he can respond to pressure situations so he's a handy cricketer to have he's a match winner hmm. pick him should we pick him no why number one budget number hmm. two we can't be uh, picking players who are uncertain we have got shocks after shocks uh, hashim amla opened ahead of shawn marsh uh, miller <laughs> and stoinis played ahead of morgan <laughs> fafdu plays he keeps getting benched dan christian plays ahead of adam zampa enough boss <laughs> so i'm not taking any chance although If you're keen on picking Faulkner, I wouldn't say it's a bad move. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, very uh, easy pickings on the wicketkeeper front. Hey, let Dinesh. me make a point, Nikhil. Hmm. Uh, I, if we go back and read some reports, we might change. It depends. Unless there is a conclusive uh, analysis or report that says Faulkner will play, we might pick him. But at this moment, we don't. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Moving on to the wicketkeeper. Easy picking. Dinesh Karthik. Straight, straight away. Straight away. He's yeah. going to bat four, five. uh naman oja the way the hyderabad team is lined up i don't think they are going to uh, he's going to get a chance to bat so there is no point in picking naman oja stick with uh, dinesh karthik uh the batsman lineup hmm. huge gujarat batting so here is a problem i'll tell you hmm. uh given the top order of gujarat all these explosive hitters mckillam will play jason roy deserves another chance hmm. we uh, when he came out to bat in that match in the opening match and we didn't pick him for obvious reasons hmm. I was like, "Good Lord, have I made a mistake?" Because mm-hmm. he can really make you pay. Yeah, Lynn made us pay, and he's done it twice. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we pick him. I'm already giving you the team. So, anyway, uh, Roy will play. Suresh Raina will play. Brendan McCullum. That's three for you. Then you have only two more slots available to you. David Warner has to be in your team, and I drop Shikhar Dhawan here because I have to pick Yuvraj Singh in this form. the way he is batting i can't let you rat singo but if, dropping shikhar dhawan even is a very dicey situation i'm not situation. saying it's a it's a wise decision but mm. if i have to drop anybody uh, between these five six players it has to be shikhar dhawan okay would it be fair to drop a rhino or a brendan mckellum do you really think so nikhil no <laughs> so wh- wh- who is the weak link but i would i would take a chance with mckellum man with a chance the problem is in four overs he gets 30 35 man he could get I, out for I a understand. zero i understand that but in that case even shikhar dhawan shikhar hmm. dhawan in my opinion will not take the game away okay whereas brendan mckellum can do that okay that fast 38 or 39 he scored against kkr hmm. uh, the way he was going he was racing along 50 60 bhi maar deta hmm. but that's how he plays and we are going with the flow we are going with momentum i know shikhar dhawan scored in the first match but we don't have space for we don't have a slot available for him so you have suresh rana as well he's he's out fact, of shape no he, he is yeah. he is i was t- i was talking to my brother and i said yeah this guy i don't know why suddenly he's got all the shots he is like ravi shastri said you talk about ipl you talk about one batsman and the only batsman is suresh rana hmm. again he is number 1 yep. you just see how many runs he has got but the fitness hmm. uh, i don't know tummy uh, what Dwayne's his issues it, are dwens with him <laughs> yeah. in, in in a competition they 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 look more like the dangal category <laughs> <laughs> that that's what but you don't need Uh, to be very fit to hit sixes and fours, yeah. and too many people have shown that. Look at Mohammad Shahzad, man. Yeah. So, anyway, let's let's not talk about their mm. fitness. Uh, Raina happens to be our vice captain, also. Again, okay. uh, I just want you to reconfirm: is it a bad choice? No, no, no. definitely Certainly not. Right? Definitely yeah. not. And captain is David Warner. <laughs> it's no, as no simple as that. There. Imagine this: people will go for Yuvraj Singh as well. Not a bad choice. People might even go for Brendan McCullum. Uh-huh. Again, not a bad choice. But I'll tell I mean, you, there are so many choices. So many choices. That's yeah. where we come in. Sometimes okay. we go wrong. Majority we get get mm-hmm. it right. And when we get it right, people make good money. Okay. But I'll tell you why David Warner, Praveen Kumar, Dhawal Kulkarni will be running into bowl. Imagine the experience, or rather the inexperience, and he might get out. But 
if he has to go bonkers this is the match i want to see your dilemma when hyderabad plays pune when dinda will bowl to warner and then there are so many pune batsmen then, as well. then then as a as a as a coach what i would do is i would drop david warner and say tum bat mat karo yaar iske sath we'll send naman oja we'll send deepak hooda ashok dinda man somebody has to go and talk to the pune management how can you keep playing him the way he was getting hammered in yesterday's match yeah. and somebody like a manan vora bashing him straight over his head the insane man See, but pune don't have too yep. many options we don't talk pune now yeah 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 let's move on <laughs> uh, so you have only one all rounder i can see that i have only again forced to uh, moses henry case yeah. he might bat number 3 or number 4 mm. and the good part is now i have to remind viewers he didn't bowl much in the big bash you remember this nikhil very clearly mm. he mm. didn't bowl much in the big mm. bash but he bowled in that match yeah I think something has got to do with this tournament IPL. Everybody wants to do everything. Or conditions, maybe. Maybe, maybe yeah. conditions. But okay, conditions in that case, Australia is more favourable for favorable. seamer bowling. Yeah. But I think it's the tournament. It has to be. Mm. And David Warner has so much faith in Moses Henry Case, and there is Tom Moody uh, mm. in the dugout. So he's a super cricketer. You have to pick him in your team. Captain C, vice captain C picks. I've already said it's David Warner and Suresh Raina. Now the bowling. Yeah. Mustafa Zur is not there. Bhuvneshwar has a fantastic record against Gujarat. Uh, but we pick Ashish Nehra the veteran and we pick Rashid Khan okay. i'm not i have a feeling i'll tell you what i'll do if gujarat are going to come up with the same batting lineup mm. i will open the bowling with rashid khan tum yeah dekho, makes sense tum dekho because ashish nehra and bhuneshwar kumar might get you wickets mm. but they'll also go for runs mm. this guy will give you more opportunities because he's a lovely bowler we saw him yeah. and he absorbs all the pressure and the way he's going to go up to mekalam uh, dwayne smith if he plays aaron finch suresh and it's going to be an interesting contest mm. and that could be a make or break for both teams mm. i'll play rashid and i'll in fact open with rashid i okay. hope somebody is listening in the srh camp <laughs> okay okay we'll do so so that's your team that's that's my you, team you have pravin kumar in your team i have pravin and dhawal why uh, dhawal is okay dhawal i can understand uh, pravin, pravin kumar uh, pravin the reason being he sure to play Uh, look at the Gujarat lineup, okay? Manpreet Goni, Basil Thampi, Shivil Kaushik got hammered yeah. four over sixty or something. Shadab Jakati, big question mark. Whom do you pick? Where do you go? Are there enough slots available? And at eight point five nine, you can only pick somebody like a Praveen Kumar. You our batsman category is full. Wicket keeper is full. All rounder, there is nobody available. James Faulkner. but he's highly priced than pravin kumar hmm. so we are not left with too many options that's why we are forced to pick him okay okay so if he gets briefly... a, if, if he gets a wicket it's a bonus, bonus. <laughs> <laughs> dhawal rashid ashish and bhuneshwar and 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 i'm so sorry and uh, pravin kumar in the bowling all rounder is uh, moses henrique keeper will be dinesh karthik five batsmen will be yuvraj uh, david warner and uh, the three from gujarat that is raina brendan mckillum and jason roy okay we don't pick dwayne smith we yes. don't pick aaron finch either i think talwar dono mein se ek ke sar pe girega okay mai ko lagta hai dwayne smith pe girega mm. yeah. anyways yeah. uh guys the article is up on our website you should go right now and check it because yes. the deadline is yes. you know, nearing, nearing. Yeah. yeah so so just check that article well we move on to mumbai versus kolkata mumbai wins end of the discussion <laughs> Okay guys the thing is that I'm a big fan of Mumbai and in fantasy cricket hmm. my biasness towards Mumbai is so high that I hmm. don't play Mumbai matches it, it 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 just doesn't click for me to not pick you know all the players from Mumbai I'll I'll tell you why you should play tonight's game because Mumbai is going to lose you look Are at KKR you look at their lineup you look at what they did to Gujarat Harbhajan are in there ha this is where this is where <laughs> I'll tell you another important uh We are giving away too many uh, information. Harbhajan Singh should have played that match. We yes. made a point why they made a mistake. They should go back to him, and why he is dismissed. Chris Gale, Suresh Raina, all these big, big guns, you know, in the IPL. And when you have somebody like a Chris Lynn, I made a point. If you keep bowling one forty, one forty five, one thirty, one twenty five to Chris Lynn, he's just going to stand and deliver deep into the stands. Yep. Okay. So. Lasit Malinga, in my opinion, is an X factor here. Yes, he is back in the Mumbai colours. So is Asela Gunaratne. So is Asela Gunaratne, but Gunaratne won't play. Yeah, Nicholas Puran won't play. Now there is a Tassel Johnson again. I don't see him playing because Johnson will give Chris Lynn pace. Hmm. Malinga also gives pace, but Malinga doesn't bowl that same length. Line length, yeah. Length, more importantly, hmm. length. Because line, you can still get hammered. Length, not because if the ball is aimed at your boot, hmm. I want to see. 
one batsman hitting a six. Mm. Only Dhoni did that during yeah. his heydays. Otherwise, yeah. nobody else. So, he's going to play and we pick Malinga Nikhil. I mm. don't care if he gets dropped. Mm. I'm making a very strong point. Yeah. We are going by logic. We are going by analysis. We are going by the opposition strength and weakness. And Mumbai's strength is Malinga. So, Saudi sits. Saudi or McLennigan in my opinion Mitchell McLennigan will sit oh. not Saudi not okay. Saudi Saudi did very well with bat also and hmm. he bowled also well hmm. Saudi has class obviously everybody knows that but Chris Lynn if you have to stop that monster he's going to open the innings Vankade not a very big ground Vankade pitch is very hard pace bounce Chris Lynn is going to keep hitting deep into Marindra pe jane wala har dusra <laughs> ball so Malinga is my X factor number two Harbhajan. These two are going to be my opening bowlers. Mm. In my opinion, Chris Lynn doesn't play spin very well. Yeah. And if there is any bowler, spin bowler in the Mumbai team today capable of getting Chris Lynn out cheaply, that is Harbhajan Singh. I'm not a Harbhajan fan, but this is the truth. Yeah. So am I again like SRH? Am I please suno open with Malinga, open with Harbhajan Singh? Let me see how much Chris Lynn scores. Yes. Okay. I'll tell you from the stadium. <laughs> Good. So Nikhil will be reporting live. He'll be giving fantasy tips. Which which brings me to the captaincy and vice uh, captaincy choice. I have picked Chris Lynn. Sheer out of hesitation. What hmm. do I do, man? Raymond, but then you you are negating your own. I know, I know. But but if he gets going, okay. Huh. Let's say we don't pick Chris Lynn and hmm. he gets going. What do we do then? And people are going to slam at us, right? Why you didn't pick Chris Lynn? He scored almost a hundred in the first game. Who's the Who's the better choice? Well, let Rohit me ask Sharma. You. Okay, I'll tell you. Rohit Sharma after game two, I'll pick him as a captain or vice captain. He's in bad nick, man. He's hmm. just not getting it right. Today also, I don't see him playing. The other big news is Ambati Raidu is not there. Yeah, Ambati Raidu. If you have watched that game in the uh, against, uh, am I played? Uh, whom did am I play, man? Okay, am, yeah. am I played Pune? And uh, he was stretched. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was taken away and Saurabh Tiwari might come in. Hmm. I think that would be a disastrous move. Krunal should be batting number three, Nitesh Raina number four and then Pollard and everybody. Hmm. Hardik, the team pretty much remains the same. Malinga comes in for Mitchell McLean again. Harbhajan Singh comes in for... Nitesh I would Rana. Say, no, I would say Ambati Raidu. Ambati Raidu because Mumbai have batting in Hardik, in Krunal, in Pollard, in Butler, Parthiv Patel, Rohit Sharma. How many do you need, man? Hmm. If six people can't get you 150, don't play. <laughs> it's as simple as that And it's a serious batting line yeah. Har- uh, And uh, Butler will open Harbhajan can also contribute with the bat hmm. So They should not play Saurabh Tiwari uh, And they should Somehow make way for Malinga and Harbhajan If Mumbai go Without these two hmm. Nikhil To match stadium Mat jau Main bolta tumko <laughs> But The only way Mumbai can win this match yeah. In my opinion Is is by chasing Yeah Okay Is by chasing because even KKR bowlers, Sunil Narain hasn't been in the greatest of mm. runs. Piyush has been doing well. Okay, the other big news, Shakib is back. Yeah. <laughs> will Shakib play? Doubtful. And if he plays, who will go? Mm. I don't know. I'm not taking a chance with Bolt. I'm not taking a chance with Vokes. Not with uh, the other... Uh, Vokes will sit. 100%. Yeah, this is where it gets very tricky. See, Umesh Yadav is not there. Mm. Okay. Uh, Ankit Rajput might get a game. So, mm. who's their pacer? Other than Bolt and Vokes, two quality paces, they don't have too many options. Mm. Then they have to rely on, they love doing that, Piyush. Chawla, Bolt, Kuldeep Yadav, Bolt, Kuldeep Yadav, Bolt, Shaki Bull, you're talking about four quality overs, 16 overs gone. Then you have a Bolt and uh, Chris Vokes. They to che quality, 24 overs, ho gaya, but mm. the game requires only 20. Mm. So, that's where I think they might make a few changes. And if somebody has to go, mm. in my opinion, it has to be Chris Vokes. Mm. But if they want to keep playing one more pacer, Sunil Narain, thank you very much. I'll pick Shaky Balasan. Not hmm. to say that my batting is weak. Hmm. The reason being, Sunil Narain, people have started countering him, negotiating him pretty well. Hmm. And they they are very comfortable giving him 23, 24 runs hmm. and playing him off. That's not... He's a cha- champion bowler, he's a wicket taker. Hmm. And if wickets don't come, KKR are in trouble. Hmm. Glad Yadav and Chawla did very well for them. Yes. And Shakib also should, should do. We're not picking Shakib. We are sticking with Piyush Chawla and Kuldeep Yadav, two Indian bowlers. Hmm. Highly unlikely they will be dropped. So hmm. we stick to these two. From Mumbai, we pick uh, Jaspreet Bumrah yeah. and uh, Lasit Malinga. Hmm. All rounder category. Um, I'm forced to pick uh, Hardik Pandya hmm. because you can't pick Asela. Hmm. Kyron Pollard is not there in the all rounders category. Uh, Shaki Bulasan, there is a question mark. You guys want to take a chance? Go ahead hmm. I have a feeling KKR might make one change Even though they won that game Because hmm. Remember It is not always 
wise to tinker with a winning combination hmm. having said that you make changes as per the conditions as per the opposition hmm. mumbai's strength is their bowling obviously you have so much variety they made a mockery of their bowling last match yeah. because of the selection yeah. but they also have some powerful hitters hmm. so the more bowlers you get in the better for you hmm. again crislin effect win or lose we'll see what happens but this is our team batsman rohit sharma parthiv patel keeper manish pande gautam gambhir and crislin hmm. this is the team and captain has to be well josh butler it's as simple as that okay. i made him the captain against rps he opened that was another shocker he scored 40 in no time he was not out yeah, he was not, not too out. many people yeah. know this he was not out so i expect similar things from uh, butler at the one kade hard pitch good bounce khata karke 60 yards chota ground chota ground he can mm. do that so he is our captain krishlin is our vice captain do you think krishlin or should we make malinga anything between malinga and gautam gambhir Okay, so we go for Gautam Gambhir. End of the story. <laughs> okay, but See, guys, uh, at the time we are recording, right now the article is not up. Might be up when you are listening to us, you know, on our website thefangaraj. dot com. Keep an eye on our Twitter handle TFG Fantasy Eleven and our Facebook page uh, Fantasy Pandit. Mm, we'll be live. Every day, 11 a.m. on IBM podcast uh, Facebook page. Uh, do a keep eye on that. Also, this is a podcast, so you can listen to it on Indusox Media, SoundCloud, Audio Boom, iTunes, and definitely on YouTube. Subscribe, share, like, and comment, and have a great Sunday, guys. Take Hope care. Hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye. 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 Excuse me, bhaiya. Excuse me. बोलिए मैडम मेन्यू में क्या है मेन्यू में सीन अन सीन है पॉडकास्ट है ऑन कोर्स है साइरस है मेर इन इंडिया रीडिस्कवरी प्रोजेक्ट एम्पावरिंग सीरीज सेक्स वैक्स है आईवीएम लाइक्स है सिंपलीफाइड है कीपिंग इट क्वेयर है टिंग्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन है माय नेबर सकरबर्ग है और द फैन का राजा आपको क्या चाहिए एक बार रिपीट कर देंगे क्या रिपीट रिपीट नहीं करता हम आप जाओ आई पे और सुनो ये सब या फिर डाउनलोड करो उनका ऐप सब आपकी उंगलियों पर